What's the meaning of this? Explain yourself, Prince Eluin. I've done nothing to her. She just started running from... Not from the looks of it. I shouldn't have agreed to this. Mrs. Seal, may I? Now, listen here. I only found her like this. She was frightened by something she saw in the water fountain. Ran into me. Why would she run from the water from Davushka? I told you you could run, but I would find you. Got you. Uh, oh, Mrs. Seal, my, you're, you're shaking. M why were you running from the fountain? Tell me what's wrong, Mrs. Seal, may. Mrs. Seal, may, is everything okay? Uh, what's the meaning of this? Explain yourself, Prince Eluin. I've done nothing to her. She just started running from. Not from the looks of it. I shouldn't have agreed to this. Mrs. Seal, may I? Now, listen here. I only found her like this. She was frightened by something she saw in the water fountain. Ran into me. Why would she run from a water fountain? Well... And that's exactly what I was trying to figure out before you came rushing in, assuming that I did something to the poor human. Speaking of which, don't think I believe for a second that she is some human representative to have just come here to help with our realm. Believe what you want. I think Mrs. Seal may. No. This human is able to see us just fine, unlike what we've been told about them. I demand to know who she really is, right now, Adrisen. If I tried telling you, you would... Oh, Mrs. Seelme, are you okay? Look, Eluin, now isn't the time. I promise to tell you later, but I think we need to take her back to her room to rest. Well, I do agree with you there. But don't think I'll forget about this easily. Mm, what was that, Seal May? Stop, Vladimir. I see. Rest, Seal May. You're safe with me. Let me carry you home now. I'm going through the side exit, away from the guests. Who is this? Vladimir. A vile human who wished to harm her and use her gifts for himself. I see. And how? I found her running from him in the human realm. Look, this is not the place nor time to discuss this. I promise you, I'll explain it once we... Here you all are. My... My queen. Queen. I had sensed something amiss. Poor dear. Quickly, take her to her room. I'll make sure the king is made aware. Victor, please inform the king that our guest has retired for the night and that I wish to speak with him. Yes, your highness. I'll attend to the guests and wrap things up early. When you are done... Make sure each of the guests be guided to their rooms and accounted for tonight. Right away, my queen. Ah, my lovely Rose. Quite a sight to see you after the meeting tonight. Victor informed me that Mrs. Siume had to retire to her room. I could only guess that the evening was already a bit much for her to take in. But, from a look in your eyes, I can tell it's much more than that. Tell me, Alea, what happened? My shining son, I too have waited patiently. And yes, 
The poor dear has fainted after receiving a vision. That's about when I sensed a maliciousness coming from the maze. A treason and Elwyn were carrying her out secretly when I met up with him at the entrance. They're watching over her now, and I'll be there when she awakes to ask what has happened. Ah, I see. Yet, I think I may have an idea of what clan she may be from. I will search through the texts and scrolls to find out more. I knew you would have figured out where to start. I shall accompany you after I check on a summer in the morning. My dear, I sense there is something else that troubles you. Hmm? Mm, yes, the maliciousness that was there, it lingered even after they left the maze. I think someone may have spied on them. Do you suspect one of the royal clans? It is possible that someone from the royal clans could be assisting the rebels, though I doubt they truly understand what they have stumbled upon. Even so, that is troubling to know that one of the clans would be involved in this. I'm guessing you have a plan on how to find out. I do indeed. However, it depends on Idrisen and Elwyn, and if they would play along with the plan. Just be merciful to them. <laughs> oh, I will. Shall we retire for the night? I would go anywhere with you, my love. Lewin, she's awake now. Hmm? Oh, good. Now we can get to the bottom of this. You had us worried there for a moment, Asil May. Indeed, now. My prince, announcing Queen Arleia Galen. No need for that now. Asilme, my dear, how are you feeling? No need to apologize. I'm just glad you're better now. The princes have told me you saw something near the fountain. Would you be able to tell me exactly what you saw? How is that possible? I see. At first it was the two of them arguing, and then it was that dreadful Vladimir fellow. Hmm. Victor, if you would please inform the king straight away. I will be there shortly to help him out in the library, and make sure to have guards posted at the portals as well. Can't be too careful. Very well, my queen. Now, you two. I have a task for you both. While we're getting matters taken care of, I want you both to accompany Mrs. Silme today. Show her the neighboring village. I'm sure being cooped up in her room can get dull for a lady. But, Mother, if the villagers were to see a human... Let them. When they see that she is being accompanied by two royal princes, no harm shall come to her whilst you both guard her, correct? And of course. Excellent. Now, Sime, you must promise to enjoy the date. Time is of the essence, and I sense a change in the air has come for... Everyone. My mother will be the death of me. <laughs> no offense, but I thought my mother was manipulative. 
What is she thinking? Honestly, I don't know. Yet, somehow, she has a tendency to know what is needed at the right time. Hmm. Well, I'm sure Mrs. Cecile May would consider it an honor to have the chance to know what it is like to go out with someone as elegant and humble as myself. <laughs> a Lewin. I would think it the other way around. Oh, Adrison, you weren't the least bit elegant or humble. I was talking about her, Lewin. Well, we can at least have some fun with this. Finish the game we had yesterday. Here we go again. No, Lewin, no games this time. Oh, you're no fun. Fine, no games. But really, that town is so dull. I think the decision is ultimately Mrs. Seelmay's. What do you say? Very well. Then it is settled. We shall visit a martyr. We'll let you get ready and we'll take the carriage there. God, this place, it's so boring. Can't we just play? No, games, you agreed. The villager Marta might not have much, but the town center is known to have the best shops in the kingdom. Well, you're not wrong. I usually have my servants fetch me the best sweets made that morning at the ivory flower. We can visit any shop you wish, it would be our treat, Mrs. Seelmay. Of course it would be. I mean, how would she have any currency if she isn't from our realm to begin with? That's beside the point. It is a date, is it not? You didn't have to take that seriously. Ah, here we are. Coachman, stay here for now. We shall return after some time. Mrs. Seelmay. How about I show you the more entertaining parts of the town? Let's dump Mr. Sensible. Don't think I didn't hear that, Eluan. Let's stick to the bakery, shall we? Who said I was trying to hide that from you? I mean, I did win last night. Careful, Eluan. Your ego is showing. And no one won last night. This way to the bakery. and Prince Lewin in my shop. Oh, please forgive my rudeness. How may I serve the kingdom? It's quite all right, my dear. <laughs> please raise your hand. Oh, yes. Hey there. I must say, I'd never imagined such a lovely woman as yourself to <laughs> own as marvellous a shop as this. Oh, my Prince Lewin, you flatter me already with your presence, let alone the daily request for my pastries. Oh, you have the best pastries in town. Oh, your royal highness, you flatter me so. I only speak the truth. I was <laughs> just mentioning to my friends here of visiting your bakery while I was in the neighborhood. I told them how great your sugar buns are. <laughs> oh, my prince of Lewin. <laughs> <sighs> A seal, May. Don't be shy. If there is anything you would like, just say so. Oh, it would be an honour to serve you all, and to celebrate, consider it all on the house. Now tell me, how can I please your palates? You see, Mrs. Seal May, it's not what you know, but who you know, and who you are. Well, take one of each of your cakes. Oh, very well, your majesties. It's my pleasure. Enjoy them. <laughs> Excuse my friend. His greed is as large as his ego.
Damn it, Adrisen. We could have had that whole shop for free. How are the cakes, Mrs. Siome? How about I get you something to drink, yes? Now we're talking. I was talking about water, Eluen. Oh, fine. In that case, go and get the lady her water. Don't worry, I'll keep her safe. Thank you, Eluen. Siome, I'll be right back. Did you want something in particular? All right. Wait with Eluen, okay? This way, Siome. You can sit over here. I don't know how you can stand it. I mean, he's like a small pup chasing its tail. Let's sit over there by the water fountain. Oh, don't worry. I doubt it would happen again while I'm with you. Come on. It's nice here. See? Nothing to worry about. Cheer up. I'm sure Drayson won't be long. I'm quite surprised how quiet the village is. Although, I'm sure they know of the gathering of royals at the Galen Castle. Dabushka. I told you you could run, but I would find you. Seal mate, are you okay? You look pale. Oh, Seal mate, what's wrong? Oh, best to take you back if you're feeling lightheaded. I'll motion for the carriage. Thank you, Eluin. Oh, Mrs. Seal mate, it does worry me so, you having all these turns. Oh, I'm sure it will be okay. Try not to fear, please. Take my hand, and we shall return to the castle.